It's Dr. Eric here, and today I want to cover a common patient question. Should I be lifting light weights for higher repetitions, or maybe heavier weights for lower repetitions to preserve and grow muscle with age? We'll have the science coming up next. A really common question around growing muscle with age is about how heavy should we really lift and for how many repetitions? I remember when I first started lifting, this goes back 21 years now really, the traditional teaching was eight to 12 repetitions was best for hypertrophy or growing muscle. But over the last few years, everything has changed. So contrary to that traditional teaching, more and more papers are showing that the rep range really doesn't matter. In fact, some of this research is actually by passionate Canadian researcher, Dr. Stuart Phillips. And what they found is that the rep range really doesn't matter when it comes to growing muscle. You have to find what works for you. So studies have looked at lifting close to 90% of your one rep maximum for that particular exercise and compared that to 30% of your one rep maximum. And as you can imagine, people at 90% of their maximum strength for that exercise did very few repetitions. And the people at 30% of their one rep maximum did a lot of repetitions. What was the difference in the end when it came to markers of hypertrophy or growing muscle? Nothing. There was no difference between the groups. So what mattered most? Getting close to failure. So the way I describe it to patients is what matters most is two things, burn and blood flow. You want to feel the burn while you're strength training and you want to get maximum blood flow to your target working muscle groups. Do that with whatever rep range works for you. If you enjoy lifting heavier for lower rep ranges and your joints can handle it with age, go for it. Or if you prefer a higher rep range for more repetitions, maybe if it gets your heart rate up a little bit more, whatever the reason, that's fine, but you still have to go for those two things, burn and blood flow. That's what matters most. Now, of course, there's other things that matter for preserving muscle with age. How many times a week you train the muscle, optimum protein consumption, and we'll cover those in other videos. But for today, the take home message is the rep range really doesn't matter. And if you're interested in reading the actual papers, don't worry. As always, I'll post the links to the studies below. And feel free to ask me any questions or comments around your own training. There's no silly questions. The only silly questions are the ones that aren't asked. To summarize, there really isn't a best rep range for hypertrophy. Find the one that works best for you, but most important is that burn and the blood flow. If you enjoyed the evidence-based content, be sure to subscribe, give it the thumbs up, and we'll see you in the next video.